to really challenge someone in the name of Jesus. Generally speak, posits divine realities in a man. He expects that the fullness of that experience will come on the strength of understanding. Hallelujah. For instance, the believer receives what you know as eternal life, the life of God, at the moment where you confess the Lordship of Jesus, based on the authority of Scripture, you become a bona fide recipient of the life of God. But the experience of that life is based on a thorough understanding, first of God, His ways, are we together? And then the ability to walk in that experience. So you can find two people saved by the same Lord and Christ, recipients of the same quality of life. But their Christian experiences would differ sometimes east from the west. The difference is not in the quality of what they received. But that unraveling the riches that comes with that life depends on knowledge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is painful to know what should be. And then not have the knowledge to step into the experience of it. This was the case of the man at the pool of Bethesda. He knew that there was potential for his healing. He knew that the resources for his healing were available. You see that? But there were gaps as far as the steps for his healing um, to be maximized were concerned. And just the gap of the absence of one man made something that could happen in one minute to linger for 38 years when jesus came and met him the man said i have no man this is my only thing i know where the water would be i know what should happen when i get in there but the last step the absence of a man prolonged a situation that could be solved within seconds in fact hallelujah and prolonged that situation and made it 38 years i'm praying that in the name of jesus there will be the hearing of faith tonight and with it the walking of miracles amen and amen romans 15 and verse 4 let's start from there romans 15 and verse 4 the bible says is will media help us okay thank you thank you media for whatsoever things were written before time kjv which is my preferred if we have that that would be fine otherwise i'm okay with it it says they were written at four time thank you romans 15 4 thank you for whatsoever things were written at four time the bible says they were written for our learning pay attention now so that we through patience and comfort of the scripture might find hope so paul is speaking to the church in rome and he's given them a very important information that everything you see captured in scripture that the intent behind it is that it should school you are we together it is for our learning these things were documented to help us learn to know god and even to understand his ways we'll be examining hebrews chapter 11 i'll be teaching on the school of faith the school of faith and let's call tonight part one the school of faith the believers walk in life and destiny will always demand partnership with the invisible realm God so designed that man will not be able to actualize destiny fulfill purpose to god's expectation outside of his participation with the spirit realm hallelujah in fact the bible acknowledges that man came from the spirit realm hallelujah and so our walk on the earth living and then fulfilling our destinies would always desire or demand that we have this awareness that it is in partnership with god in partnership with the realm of the spirit that we ever succeed in this realm this is very important so let's look at hebrews chapter one we'll read the first four verses but then we'll start with the first two verses may i request that we read together ready one to read hebrews 11 and one media 
you can correct that back it's 11 and 1 media 11 okay thank you one to read now faith is the substance of things hoped for uh-huh the evidence of things not seen please read verse one again one more time the evidence of things not seen verse two for by it the elders obtained a good report so let's now read three and four verse three now through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of god so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear for it says by faith abel offered unto god a more excellent sacrifice than cain by which he obtained witness that he was righteous god testifying of his gifts and that by it he being dead yet speaking may the lord help us in the name of jesus christ a few things we have to learn about the character of faith from this scripture and the first thing the bible tells us is that faith is verse one the substance the word substance there means the tangibility the substance of things we can go back to verse one my dear media people the substance of things hoped for the substance of things hoped for then it also calls it the evidence of the things that are not seen so the bible describes faith number one in relation to things please follow carefully the first revelation of faith we see here from verse one is as a reality in connection to things the substance of things and the evidence of things now but when we go to verse 2 we see a very interesting addition that most people do not pay attention to the Bible now tells you that in addition to things faith is also connected to a good report hallelujah so he's giving us an understanding about faith that faith has a twofold assignment number one its assignment in connection to things and then number two its connection to a good report the bible says by this faith the elders obtained so what the elders obtained were not just things beyond things they also obtained a good report bible faith does not stop at obtaining things that there is a higher layer are we together now to the economy of faith that at the end of your journey you should not just arrive at obtaining things you must have a good report so faith from this scripture immediately tells us that faith has two assignments number one to help the saints obtain their desires and then number two to help the saints to have a good report this is very powerful notice that most believers in our study or understanding of faith we limit the operation of faith to things and that is right but that is not enough are we together so the average believer understands faith with respect to its ability to obtain things and that is true because the bible leaves a provision for believers to use faith for instance the bible says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray that you believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them so we know that there is a place for receiving things but the bible tells us that the whole process of faith should not just stop in obtaining things are we following now it then means that every time we study faith there are two things we should be looking for its ability to deliver things and its ability to bring the individuals to have a good report and hebrews goes further to let us know that there are some times that faith 
does not deliver things, but it must always deliver a good report. Hmm. So in the workings of faith, a good report is greater than obtaining things. Because when you study the entire discourse of all those who were called the elders, some of them did not obtain things. But the Bible says all of them obtained a good report. And yet it called them elders. Are we together now? This is very important. So everywhere we study faith, we must seek to find desires actualized, but then we must also seek to find where reports were established. Therein lies the disappointment of many believers because we have limited the understanding of faith to things. And once we fail to obtain things through faith, we feel disappointed and sometimes even we men of God, we lack the ability to explain to people why they seem to have believed God, but the end of their journey did not end up with getting things. When you understand the way faith works, you will know that getting things is a very, is an inferior part of faith. That a more superior approach to faith is obtaining a good report. So by this understanding, we see immediately that faith is a platform, but faith is a journey. Hallelujah. Faith is a platform that helps the believer to obtain promises, to actualize desires, but that more than a platform, faith is also a journey. And that in that journey, the end of it is not receiving things. The end of it is having a test testimony there is something the journey does not affect your hand it affects you your entire life listen if you get what i'm teaching you your christian experience will be solid and you will do things that only god can do are we together let's now look at verse 3 you will understand what i said hebrews 1 or Hebrews 11 now verse 3 watch this through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God so that the things that are he says that they did not come from the things that do appear verse 4 now verse 4 it says by faith watch this now Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain watch this by which he obtained witness what did he obtain he did not obtain things that he was a righteous man this was the end of his journey for him faith was not a platform to receive things the, the first example are we together now hmm. the first example of faith in the bible the Bible says he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts and that by it, even though he was dead, yet he speaks. That the journey of Abel did something to him. He never got anything physical, but he earned a place, a good report. Are we together now? And then you look at the next person very strangely, verse 5 verse 5 now by faith the second example that the bible gives us is the man enoch enoch was translated so that he should not see death and was not because god had translated him and before his translation again what he had was not things he had a testimony this was his testimony that he pleased god example number three are we following tonight verse six please gives us the third example that without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh unto god must believe that he is and then he's the rewarder of them that diligently seek him next verse please i want us to see the third example the third example is noah so are we following now the first example is abel then enoch then noah it says by faith noah being warned of of god of things not seen as yet moved with fear 
he prepared an ark to the saving of his house and by the which he condemned the world and became an heir of the righteousness which is by faith noah now verse 8 now you see what happened with noah the bible says noah did not receive anything but he obtained a good report that he was a righteous man because when god warned him he moved with fear the first time from hebrews 11 we see promises and we see receiving and we see inheritance started with the man abraham are we together by faith abraham when he was called the bible says he went called into a place which he should go after he received one inheritance we now see obedience and then in fact the bible tells us it was not everything god promised abraham that he received on his soil in his life because the bible would tell us that these men did not obtain certain promises so bible faith is not limited to receiving things are, are we following the journey now that bible faith should not just stop in the realm of using it as a platform to receive things that faith is also the name given to the journey that affects you more than your receiving hallelujah many people are not strong and audacious because they have limited the operation of faith to only become a platform that helps them receive things so there is faith for reports and then to obtain promises let's look at hebrews 11 from verse 32 down to 35 this is very profound i'm being simple because i want everybody to follow along and what shall i say more for time will fail me to tell of gideon and barak watch this now and samson and jephthah of david also and samuel and of the prophets we're reading to 35 33 now who through faith watch all the things that faith accomplished subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness obtained promises stopped the mouth of lions 34 quenched the violence of fire escaped the edge of the sword out of weakness were made strong wax valiant in fight turned to flight the armies of the aliens now it switches dimensions in verse 35 women who received their dead to life again then he says others were tortured not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection you see that now in fact if we extend it to verse 36 it gives you a very 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 interesting perspective can we add that 36 verse 36 of hebrews 11. it says and others had the trial of cruel mockings and scourgings and so on and so forth look at these guys the bible is telling you that these people who went through scourging they were not receiving things they were obtaining reports and the bible adds all of them and he calls them elders and he says all of them manifested faith that means if your faith just stops or is limited to receiving things there is a dimension of god's design of faith that you may never step into are we together now praise the name of the lord i've listened to so many teachings about faith blessed by them but i think this limitation in our understanding of faith has affected our confidence and it has dampened our audacity we're not able to face life because we have reduced faith only to the realm where it is a platform that helps us to obtain things i wrote something here and i want you to listen and then write that there is faith as a school a journey that helps you to know god in his various dimensions there is faith as a school a journey that helps you to know god in his various dimensions and then it gives you a noble report before god there is faith as a school there is faith as a journey and that at the end of that journey it is not things that you receive at the end of it there is an an evolution that happens you are the one who is changed 
you see that now your confidence is affected your perspective is affected and then there is faith as a platform for making spiritual realities manifest i like second timothy verse 1 and 12 second timothy verse 1 and 12 here's what it says um it says but i know whom i have believed second timothy 1 12 and i am persuaded for i know whom i have believed is that in your bible and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which i have committed unto him against that day notice he did not say i have believed he said i know whom i have believed the believing came later on but my encounter my intimacy i'm not just believing him i know whom i have believed looks like what jesus was discussing with the woman at the well he said you worship what you know not of you are just worshiping as a ritual but we have come into a place of intimacy where we know the god that we believe hallelujah job 13 and verse 15 says though he slay me job is speaking yet will i trust him not just yet will i receive from him job was a man of faith and he said though he slay me yet will i trust him i'm telling you that faith is not always about receiving faith is also a tool that produces transformation that helps the believer to know and become like god that in the economy of god receiving is the lesser part of faith what faith does to you the confidence it produces out of you the experience of god he gives you the reports that you have before god is a more superior purpose to the whole subject of faith hallelujah praise the name of the lord everybody who begins his work with god you see when god begins to journey with you through seasons you are called a man of faith not by how many things you obtained but the experiences that you went through and the reports that came out of those experiences one of it like pastor shared being a man of patience that something about god you should you wouldn't have known otherwise i like how the psalmist puts it yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death he never said you took me out i walk through the valley of the shadow of death he says i will fear no evil fear was not something he came into that experience with or courage he came in with fear but something happened as he began to confront that situation he learned god through that situation and his conclusion and his report is that i have found out that this thing does not have as much power as it looked before i got into that situation one of the ways god makes us courageous is to create a scenario where we stand before our fears for a long time long enough to deflate that fear and you will find out that it never really had the power it proposed to have so the believer generally uses faith for avoidance we use faith quickly to pray and say lord you are god i'm speaking your word may i never get into this situation this is what i want i describe it by faith and that is not right that is not wrong but i'm saying when god is dealing with you what he seeks to produce out of you a noble report will demand that faith for you does not just become a platform but that it becomes a school a school where you learn God experientially, you learn God pragmatically. There is something about God that only your tears can reveal. There is something about God that only the gift of pain in your life can reveal. This is an uncomfortable truth, but this is how people become champions in the spirit. Are we together now? So you get to a point where your focus is on the knowledge of God and the reports that you obtain before him. You care less about whether things appear or not. I will take time to teach about things. Faith was a platform to receive things. But I'm saying your Christian experience will be a plethora of disappointments. In fact, because of the many disappointments as a result of the absence of things, you will not pay attention to the transformation that is happening and the knowledge of God that you are now having in experience. Are we together? So for instance, I'm trusting God for a job and I've been told that if I believe the word and I speak the word, the cattle on a thousand hill belongs to the Lord. Is that true? 
God is called the father of spirits. He can manipulate every human spirit. I want to appreciate you for stopping by and uh, listening to Apostle Jesua Shama. And I believe that this message has blessed your life. And this message will continue work in you until it brings forth the glory of the Lord upon your life. And I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. If you have not subscribed, you can also share with other people. And I want you to believe.